Hello and welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Hey, we are at the PTI farm and I wanted to give you an inside look of what we're doing with some of our high yield soybean attempts here at the PTI farm. Now, we've been, uh, we've been trying to grow some potentially high yield soybeans and we've got a regiment that, or a recipe that we've been doing for these beans. I've run into a few problems this year. I've got tall beans and usually tall beans, there's too much energy into the vegetative stage and not as much into the reproductive stage. But all summer long, groups have been coming here to the PTI farm and they've been making fun of me about my too tall of beans. And one day we were out here in the field and I was kind of getting depressed about it a little bit. And, uh, and I walked over into these beans and I had my head down a little bit and I started looking into the canopy of the beans and I said, hey, we got something going on here. The amount of four bean pods in this high yield soybean trial really caught my eye. And I just think it's interesting to look at what's going on. You guys remember when we found the first four bean pod years ago, everybody was like, oh my gosh, this is fantastic. We found a four bean pod. Guys, we're approaching an average close to 10 four bean pods on a plant in this particular trial. So you can see these four bean pods here. They're not difficult to find at all. Every plant has multiple four bean pods. And so I wanna talk a little bit about what we're doing in this soybean trial because it is the most four bean pods I've seen in a soybean field or in an individual soybean trial. So I wanna talk about what we're doing for this trial and then we'll harvest this this fall and we'll figure out if we were even able to get high yield. So we've designed this high yield trial to be a lot of, of planter focus, uh, focused nutrition. We start in furrow jet center, okay? And this would be where we're putting liquid on next to the seed. Okay, now that's a gentle spot. They're very sensitive. We can't put some salty products there. We're real gentle. We're using some sugar products from QLF. We've got some Stoller USA. We've got Bioforge Advanced and Charge. We add a little water to it for coverage. And then we transition to furrow jet wings. This is where we're getting it out of the center of the furrow, getting it three quarters of an inch over and higher. And this is where we come in with what I call some high horsepower. We're using nature's products, some triple option, and balance, and there's a lot of nutrients. These are well-rounded products right here, and I think that's gonna be critical. We'll get into more of that in a minute. Then we come in with Conceal. Conceal is going to be dual band applications, three inches away from where these beans are planted, an inch and a half deep, and we're coming in, again, with some Nature's products, 10 gallon per acre of throwback. This is dual band Conceal. We're running a quart of Hemiflex Max and two quart of Sideswipe. Sideswipe is micronutrients. Again, that's going to be important here in just a second. But this is a well-rounded planter applied treatment program for these high yield beans. We then focus to the foliar applications in this high yield study. We come in at R1, we come in at flower and we're running nature's K-Flex, impulse, finish line. I'm adding in boron and some molybdenum. And then in R3, we bring back in balance. It's the same product we were running here in furrow jet wings. We're running a foliar, and then we've got K-Fuel. That's our program. We've been spraying these foliar programs with our spray UAV all summer long. Okay, that's how we're making our applications with our spray UAV. We're not bringing a ground rig in. We're not bringing a crop duster. Our spray UAV is making these applications. <laughs> these four bean pods are a result of something here. I, I can't figure out what component is giving me the four bean pods. We're gonna to try to work on that. First, I gotta see if this is actual yield. Is it high yield, higher yield than what we're used to? Is there contribution there? And then we're gonna to start to look at this package, this program. So this is what we call Liebig's barrel. And what we're looking at here, this is a visual uh, theory of the bottom stave of the barrel leaking product out. So we could fill this with nutrients Okay, we could do a really good job of managing certain nutrients, but the bottom stave is where we're gonna, we're gonna be able to fill up to here and then everything's gonna kind of run out. And so think about your fertility program at home. I think we do a good job concentrating on nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. I think we do that, but what about all the micronutrients? You get a tissue test for your crop of soybeans out here and it gives you this long list of all these nutrients that a plant needs. It shows you whether you're low, medium, or high but are you actually applying all of those nutrients? So I'm showing you the barrel today. We're talking about the lowest staves and I don't know what your lowest stave is on your farm with your fertility program, but I like 
this liquid fertility program on the planter because it allows us to put a lot of these micronutrients into our package here. And it's a lot easier than with a dry fertilizer program that everybody's used to with DAP or MAP or potash. So this is a really well-rounded program. You look at products like Sideswipe, this is all micronutrients. So it allows us, again, to put more nutrients into the field, into this growing crop to reduce this lowest stave of the barrel. So I just wanted to show you some of the four bean pods that we're seeing in the field. I'm excited to see what these beans are gonna yield. I'm hoping for over 100 bushel here, but we're gonna really try to evaluate what's contributing yield and maybe some of these four bean pods as well. In the meantime, thanks for watching this episode of Inside PTI. If you have any questions, reach out to your local precision planting dealer, or you can send us an email at insidepti at precisionplanting.com. Thanks for watching.